YouTube video. This has been, feels like a long time coming, so basically what I'm doing now is filming a little intro um, to a video that I made of us moving into our house. I've had an absolute nightmare with all the footage, trying to get it onto my computer, or one of our computers. Um, lost some footage, I lost the beginning and the end. <laughs> um, so basically it's a, it's a brilliant start. Um, it's a bit mishmashy, I kind of jump from day to day. Um, but I just wanted to put it up because, um, or I wanted to at least put it together because moving in was an important thing. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I just have to drive up to the house now. Yay, I've got a red front door. What? Why have I got a red front door? What? the what the actual i've got a red front door okay let's go find out oh that's gonna be a problem i need to remember yeah, that's gonna be a problem this this just looks like a lot of doors this is like the house of doors <laughs> i like our shower i guess you tested the shower no, not like had a shower no. <laughs> there's water someone's That's not it. No temperature. <laughs> that what was I thinking? <laughs> Do you want to lie down and see if we can fit a bed in here? That way. <laughs> Only if they're no taller than you. <laughs> Look at your arm. <laughs> In the house? What was yesterday? Hell. Wasn't hell? Yeah. What was it? Yeah, no. Didn't really start today properly. So yesterday, as Ross said, I think earlier, yesterday was proper moving day, so everything is now in the house. So it's our first proper day in the house. There's literally just so much mess when you move in. There was just stuff everywhere. And my priorities aren't probably right, you can see a massive mess behind me in the living room but I've just been sorting out the kitchen because I just wanted it to look pretty because it's probably my favourite bit of the house at the moment. So this is my pretty kitchen. And I finally managed to make the dishwasher work. But, th but this is the reality, is pretty kitchen. Um, and this is the garden. Do you think we should buy some pigs? They would love it. And we haven't even got a fence properly yet either. But hey, we'll get there. So I've just dropped off some rubbish at the tip and came to sort some stuff out and I got sidetracked by making the kitchen look nice and putting the dishwasher on when actually I should probably be focusing on the living room. Ah, fun. But if you can see past the mess, our sofa fits. It's perfect. We thought we were going to have to get rid of this sofa, this chair, but it all fits. Um, and we had... We had a bit of a nightmare today. Well, here again, more stuff. Stuff, stuff. We thought if we sort this bed out, then we can put stuff underneath it. But putting the bed together wasn't as easy as we thought. I literally, I thought that I was gonna spend the rest of my life putting a bed together. But even though it's still a mess, it's up. So this is the spare room. I got my dressing table ready to go up. My bedroom's a mess. My wedding dress just shoved over the top of all of this. I should probably straighten it out. And the bathroom's not too bad. And oh my God, everything makes me cringe. I really need to get sorted. This is our bedroom. And these are our curtains, otherwise known as wardrobes. Brilliant. It's Ikea day. And Ikea day means TGI's day. I love TGI's. I'm having a chicken finger BLT. That's one of them. I'm gonna have potato skins. Is that 
the oven. <laughs> Just potato skin. Oh, we'll have the start. I can't go to T-shirts and not have potato skin. Yeah. This is the best food ever. Yeah. But not with ketchup. It's actually been ages since I put the camera on last. Um, I was going to film some when we got to Ikea, but I didn't. I started not feeling very well actually. Um, and then Ikea got a bit much. <laughs> we really enjoyed walking around all the bits where all the rooms are set up. And we're like, yeah, this is loads of fun. We're going to pick loads of stuff. And then when it actually came to picking stuff, it was actually quite stressful. We got this guy. Wow, everything's in these recycling bins that I bought. Soap dispensers. Um, and we've also... Oh, and I got a lampshade. I just wanted like a simple one. And then these boxes is actually a TV stand. Um, which we'll put together tomorrow. And I have the same lampshade in a small version for upstairs. Oh, and we've got our house number. So this is what we're gonna have outside the front door. In yesterday's footage, um, you saw me have my wedding dress shoved across all the rubbish that's in the little bedroom. Um, it was all screwed up and I've been wanting to put it in something really pretty for ages and I found the perfect box in Ikea. I've been looking for ages because um, you can get them all wrapped up online. Well, set you, I don't know if you sent them off or I don't know but there's websites that will box them for you so they wrap them all in the special acid free tissue paper that you need and they put them in the box and basically it's about £60 usually which isn't that much money when it's about looking after your wedding dress but basically they're all ugly <laughs> I hate all of the boxes that are on those websites I was like I can't I can't put my wedding dress in an ugly box um, so I was like I'm gonna do it myself I'm going to wait until I find a box that I think is pretty enough and then I'm going to order some acid free tissue paper. Um, so I found a box, I haven't got the tissue paper yet because I was waiting to find a box, but I'm really pleased. So it's like, it's one of the Ikea boxes, so it's like a fabric box, it has like this little sort of star print on it and my dress fits perfectly, I was really worried it wasn't going to go in. Um, so my dress is there folded with the sash on top and my sparkly headpiece and the hanger and then it has this lid so uh, if I can do this one handed <laughs> literally everything is grey I love grey grey and white grey and white everything and I also some storage to go with my dressing table because my dressing table gets really messy and I have like in the old house I had boxes that went underneath well like a box which is a really crappy box to be honest um, with just no top on it and so she used to chuck stuff under the dressing table and then the floor would get really messy but and there'd be little boxes of rubbish everywhere so I wanted to have some proper storage I suppose it's a little bit like the Muji stuff where can you see it properly <laughs> yeah so little clear boxes so you get three that are that size the one that I just showed you and then you get a long one and then you get a big one. And I think it was about £16 for all of them. Finally, bye time! So I start off a new house. And so I'm going to circle this bad boy. Disney Princess Bubble. I also have Butter Bear. It's finally time to give him an outing in my nice, sparkly clean new bath. Um, so I'm going to dig out some hair masks. No, face masks. Tomorrow's going to be more of a sorting out day, rough as it work. Um, I need to pop into town and hopefully the builder will come around and put up extra. So, let's eat it. We have basically fast forward through all of today because I didn't film anything. Um, but today I, st I feel like we're getting somewhere today. Um, even though I don't really know what we've done, but I just feel like a little bit more settled. I think I feel a bit more settled each day. Um, I've just been painting our bed. Oh, the Sky Man came, that's why. <laughs> that's why it feels more normal. Um, the Sky Man came this morning. So now we actually have TV in the house, which isn't a massive thing and we were fine, we were just watching films and stuff. Um, but it feels nice to have that bit of normality. I started painting the bed, so th this is what our bed was like. There we go, that's what our bed looks like. Um, oh, and also I have something new up in the bathroom. Um, although, I don't really, it's not what I wanted it to look like, I'm not that happy with it, but I don't know, it looks alright, I bought this like, looks really strange on camera, 
this like ladder shelf and I and obviously you can see it's going that way I wanted it to face us but it's too wide it won't fit in that gap there so there is a there's like the strangest little noise in the bathroom and I cannot figure it out anyway so yeah this is just for our storage so I want to get some nice like sort of baskety container-y thing in my bobbies to put all my stuff in because everything is just a mess in here at the moment. And also, I was just going downstairs because the living room is, oh, dark, sorry. Let me find some light. The living room is just looking so much better than it was. This just feels so, it's not perfect, there's still a lot to do, but it just feels so much more homey. We've got our TV stand up last night. So this is what it looks like from the corner of the room now. So we've got the TV all set up. And all the way in, and obviously the sofa. And that was the bed upstairs, unpainted, and this is the bits that I painted down here. Um, so, as as per usual, it's a bit of a grey colour. It's quite hard to tell exactly. And um, this is the paint that we used. It's called Winter Grey, and it is. Sorry, I spill paint everywhere. Mm, again. It is Rust-Oleum Chalky Finish Furniture Paint. Yeah, in winter grey. Um, it's So it's chalk paint. Um, it's just basically really, really easy to use. So you put that on, it's, that's literally like one coat. We are gonna do another coat though. And then you put on this finishing wax. Rust-Oleum Furniture Finishing Wax. Because where it's like chalky paint, if, um, if you didn't put that wax on, it would just all flake off or rub off eventually. So you just wax that on to keep it like sealed in. Sorted up the window sills a little bit. So you've got some bits and bobs from the wedding here and here. And also sorted out this. And we are also going to paint this shelving unit. Oh, also the blind man came back today. He's not blind. He works for a blind company, as in shutters and blinds and for windows, not people with sticks and walking dogs. No, guide dogs. <laughs> Um, so he came back so that we could pick a colour for our blinds in the kitchen because you'll just be able to see me. But this is our like windows and doors at the back and our garden is obviously out there. It's just really dark and when you're sat here for dinner it just feels like a big dark space so it just feels a bit more cosy when there's blinds up so we're just going to have a blind on each window and each door. Oh also our bins came today so we can actually put the rubbish out and um, they got delivered and then we... So we'll also be getting our um, wooden blinds for the, all of the other windows, upstairs and this one at the front. I'm just gonna make some random dinners. Um, it's like really late, um, but we just got a bit hungry and I just wanted to eat some vegetables because I wanted to eat something healthy. Uh, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. But we bought some new knives and we also bought this jar to keep our utensils in had a horrible orange lid, so we got rid of that and just put our utensils in it. And I bought some scales that kind of go with the colour of everything in our kitchen so far. Um, but then we were like, everything we've bought is like things that aren't essentials, just things that we liked. And really, I think we need to focus on what we need to buy next, like um, bedside tables and things. Um, so that's what I'm going to concentrate on next and we need some bedding and stuff like that. So boring things that we need is going to be the next thing that we have to buy. Um, the kitchen is a mess because we've been doing more painting. Um, but this is pretty much finished now. So this is the headboard for our bed and that needs another coat of paint. But the end of the bed, uh, like the foot of the bed and the sides of the bed is all finished now. So tomorrow we are going to put that together. Um, oh, we bought this. We bought this thing little jar and that's all squash in there so i'm just doing ross's favorite chicken which is like some oh i'm not gonna show you it's raw chicken it looks gross um like peri peri chicken and i am having this lemon and dill salmon um fish in a bag it's the best thing ever so easy and it tastes so good it's my favorite way to have salmon and then i'm just gonna have a massive plate of vegetables with it okay so that was the very unexciting end of the vlog um I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it kind of made sense and was worth watching. Um, so basically, one of the things I thought I'd end it here in my bedroom because one of the things that I was talking about in the video a lot was painting my bed. And I'm finally sat on my bed. It's built. It's painted. It's beautiful. So I will just show you the bed before we finish. So my nice 
This is the bedspread from Next with the matching pillows. Well, actually, the, the whole set is from Next. Um, but this is what the bed looks like. I love it. We've now got our blinds up. Um, so now that I've finally been able to get everything together so I can actually start doing this more regularly, I know which computer works, I know what program to use. Um, so here's to the start of the morning. Thank you for watching.